Welcome back to Upper Left RC. I got a package in the mail today. I'm excited to try out. Boom. This is an ESS for Cars RC Plus. This essentially gives me um, sound. It's a speaker for, uh, I'm going to put this in the Red Cat, I believe. I saw a couple reviews on this thing. It looks really awesome. It has a lot of options, so I really want to bust into this thing and get it installed. Let's take a look. All right, so open the package here, see what we got inside. Well, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be. So get a USB drive. I believe this is for programming. I think I saw that someone said that this is to like program other sounds and stuff for the vehicle. Got some mounting hardware for the actual speaker itself. Leads, cables, all kinds of stuff. Uh, books. This one's going to be one where I actually have to probably read the instructions to get it figured out. Probably hear my dogs in the background losing their minds. But got all the cables here, and I love that it uses a Dean's connector um, because that's what's already on the Red Cat stock. So that works out great. Some 3M to stick it to something. Okay. What I need to do is get the truck and let's get this thing installed. Let's take a look at this real quick. Get it installed and see what it sounds like. A couple connectors, a couple buttons. Yeah, let's get the truck out and get it installed. Now, hmm. Just gonna kind of walk through this as we go. So I'm not 100% sure even how to install this. All right, guys, moment of truth. I've got this on. Fire this up. All right. It's making noise. Let's turn that up. anything to it. I haven't programmed it, so it sounds like it's making the right noises. Um, I know there's a way to change the sound as well. Let me read up on this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently all I have to do is long press this. Heard a beep, and that should be a new noise. <laughs> Both ends of the box. So 
is not stable. I'm sure it's a terrible idea. gonna go ahead and uh pick which one of these i like best i think the one we're on is pretty cool i get the body back on and i want to go run it outside and just kind of see how it sounds while it's running with the body on i think the acoustics are going to make it even louder acoustics can't talk um but yeah i'm gonna figure that out real quick i think i'm just gonna honestly 3m tape it right there if it doesn't interfere with the body let's take a look and see i don't think it will oh yeah like a glove fits right on there it definitely resonates in the body and gives it a different tone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's probably where I'm just gonna mount it. Right there. It came with uh <laughs> just keep having to yell over it. Sorry guys, this was haphazard. I was just excited to open it. I didn't really have a plan. Uh, it does come with four different mounting brackets. These four brackets are actually for four specific vehicles. So you got the Axial SCX-10-2, the regular 10, the Traxxas TRX-4, and then the Axial Wraith. So it doesn't have anything for the Red Cat. Um, that's okay. Like I said, it came with uh, these 3M sticky tape things. Just stick one right there. It's a good spot for it. Or off to the one of the sides. I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know. We'll be right back. All right, so quick update. Uh, I was going to 3M tape this thing right here to this spot, and then I realized that there are, let's see if I can, okay, how do I hold this? There's four holes down here in the bottom of this, uh, where this circle is. I'm not sure what they're for. I'm sure someone in the comments can let me know, but one of the screws that came, one of the four screws that came with this fits in there perfectly snug and actually screws into the bottom of this. The holes don't line up enough on this plate to line up with the four holes on on this module you can see there's one hole right here it's a little too wide and a little too long but i was able to get one screw in there and it is on there solidly so i think that's exactly how i'm going to mount it <laughs> turning the volume up when I turned it around and it does get a little distorted at the very very end of it when it's really loud so I think I found the perfect it's about two clicks down from the max volume which is still really loud in person but it's not distorting it at all <laughs>
Alright guys, so I just installed oh, this sound box and I'm sure this is in that same video. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut it together, but I figure this right here, yeah, the video I installed this in, which probably doesn't make sense to hear me say that because you're watching the video that I'm installing this in. Never mind. I got a light kit. I checked the mail basically a couple, couple hours after I installed that and I got the light kit. So we're going to set this thing up. I'm going to just put it all in one video as an upgrade. Okay guys, so I finally got it wired up. Boy, is that a bunch of wires. I zip tied them all together. But I got the lights installed in the front bumper. It came with a little 3M clip to hold the wire there out of the way. Tuck this one behind the shock. Got the rear installed. The clip didn't really hold, but I think it's gonna be okay. It's above, you know, it's on, it's on this side of the bumper instead of under it, so we're okay there. And I got all the lights installed in the back of the truck. I didn't do any of it on camera because the instructions are useful once you know how to read them. But I just watched a how-to video on the actual Red Cat Racing like YouTube channel. And that step-by-step -step process was way easier when he explained it. So I got it all set up. We're going to fire it up and see what it looks like. Got the remote on. Oh, thank goodness they came on. So we got two in each headlight, four in the front bumper. Got, oh, that's probably upside down for you guys to try and spin it around. We got the brake lights, oh, tail lights. I don't see tail lights. Maybe we gotta, maybe we gotta fire it up, hang on. So with a little bit of throttle, brake lights go out. You know what? I'm just gonna put the body on real quick. Hang on. Okay, I did my little <laughs> stack in boxes to keep it off the table. So here's the front. I think it looks great. It looks like it's flickering on camera, but it's not in person. And then the back with the lights down low, full set of lights here, and then we're gonna fire it up. Brake lights dim to 50% when it's on on any sort of throttle, and then come back on at 100 when I'm in neutral, and then reverse. I get these lights here, the reverse lights, and I just found out now doing that that the uh, once the engine turns off, it doesn't fire back up when you push it in reverse. You gotta gotta kick the throttle that way. It does make noise in reverse. If the engine turns off, you gotta fire it back up by giving it front throttle. I think these lights look awesome. I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna get a little bit of footage driving around.
All right, guys. The Sense Innovations ESS Dual Plus. Awesome. Awesome, awesome sound simulator. It is super, super cool. In person, it sounds even better than in the video. Um, I, I, It has to. I just know it does. But it is so awesome. I can't wait to plug that little USB stick in and see what else we can do with this thing. I know they have a ton more sounds like horns, brakes, turbos, and a lot more trucks to pick from. So we'll be doing that in the future, checking that out. The light kit, Red Cat Plug and Play. Um, when you first open this box, it's a little intimidating, but honestly, if you go to the Red Cat Racing YouTube channel and pull up the instruction video on how to install this, it's five minutes long, it's super comprehensive, and it was a lifesaver with this thing. It took me maybe 10 minutes to install this, um, just pause it when you get caught up, hit play again on the video, and it'll take you step by step. You can't miss a beat. So that was awesome. Love how the upgrades came out. I'm thinking this thing is good for a while. We'll probably hold off on any more upgrades. Um, I got some more plans for these guys coming up. I did not forget about the minis. I promise you that. 24 scale stuff is coming back soon. Uh, I've got another course on the way. My... Dad has built me another course, and if you think this is cool, wait till you see the one I've got coming soon. If you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm bringing out daily content. And a quick date update on the Rocksta. I got it fixed-ish. It seems to be holding in there pretty well. So we're going to add this back to the fleet soon too. A little bit of super glue and a 3D pen. <laughs> I got that thing pretty much put back together. So I just got to bolt it all back up, give it a run, make sure it's all good to go. And we are back into the 24 scales in tomorrow's video. I've got some upgrades and some other stuff along the way. So don't miss out. Get subbed. Turn those notifications on if you want to find out when it comes out. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.